kid, you're a little concerned, wasn't doing some of these parameters that we're trained to look at, and they're not doing, we had concerns, so we could put them in a developmental program. Right. What does that mean, a developmental program? Oh, well, the first things we do is, uh, especially in the younger kids below three years of age, we start something called early intervention, which is where the city helps out and they fund these programs where we can have physical therapy or occupational therapy, uh, speech therapy, all different programs to help children catch up as early as possible. Because again, like we mentioned before, the earlier you can diagnose a problem, the earlier you can start uh, intervening and helping the child. Well, there's a thing in the news today that the first born seems to have slightly high acute than, say, the second or third born. And some people think it's because the first one gets all the nurturing and all the attention, and if you're the third born, which I have to be, I don't think we ever saw my parents, but so that could be some of the idea of a stimulation obviously helps. Obviously there's a there's a limit. Too much is bad too, is that right? Um, well for sure, you know, but again, the the more you read to your child, and I don't think there's a limit in how much you can read to your child and talk to your child, uh, especially the very young, and the more you do that, the more because children learn by 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 repeating. Child, the, the the infant brain, the developing brain basically uh, takes in from the environment and it just repeats and, and, and sends it back almost the same way as you would um, you would actually train a pet you know with the with the child's brain you know it, it actually works that way and the more you read to them the more they they'll be able to mimic and have their own language that they'll respond back well we learned that everybody likes to be told you're doing a good job so positive reinforcement is what way you go not negative that's sure right. as the children start getting older and you start needing to teach them to right and wrong and different things what to do. Again, positive reinforcement works a lot better than negative reinforcement. And usually what a lot of people recommend is when they do the right thing to give positive reinforcement, do the wrong thing, um, even just lack of any attention, you don't even need to give negative re any, any negative stimulus by just ignoring them is sometimes enough that will teach them not to do that.